Cobra Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 27, Honesty. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. Cobra Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 27, Honesty. NPR, 27.1. Honesty is a virtue of the real man, for he is honest in all things, and not least with himself. And no man is so deceitful as he who deceives himself, and no form of deceit is so common. MPR 27.2 Even the weakling, if he be honest with himself, takes a step towards manliness. A balance between society's needs and citizens' free will. An example. While the United States Constitution is not perfect, I doubt anything humanity does will be. It must allow for change, even during times when humility is at its lowest ebb. However, it did require amendments to change the Constitution. It had to reach a supermajority. The legislative branch must overcome a supermajority on smaller violations of free will. The Trinities of Federal, State, and Citizen. Supreme Court, Executive Branch, Legislative Branch, and the Senate, the House, and President. All these were to get in the way, to stymie the arrogant in society who would willingly violate free will without thinking. One person is incapable of acting unwise. That was the intent. But it is frustrating for all of us. However... Each time we go through an arrogant period, the protections are weakened. Often because we focus on one word and phrase and ignore that the whole document is like a tapestry, like a blueprint. You change one, you weaken something else. See, that is the deception. We argue that this was not covered, so government can address it, ignoring that Amendment 9 and 10 makes it clear anything not addressed in the Constitution is the state's and citizen's responsibility. For federal government to administer it, they must make the argument to society, to citizens. They are best able to handle this. That must be done in an amendment. The arrogant do not want to wait, and thanks to a well-meaning decision in the Supreme Court, even the mildest of inconveniences can now be granted as a right. By 218 in Congress, in the House, 51 in the Senate, one president, five Supreme Court justices. This will eventually destroy the United States. It's close to doing it already. We just barely scraped by. How many more times will it take for arrogance to finally destroy what was created so delicately all those centuries ago? It is hard even during times of humility for citizens to demand a society give back what was taken but not needed, or is no longer needed. They will argue, what harm could it do? Yet a generation, likely every three decades, will see humility at a low ebb, and the arrogant once again in control. Do not deceive yourself into believing what is wrong should be tolerated. God must teach humility. Never forget, even God's chosen in the Bible was defeated and sent into exile to Babylon. The level of cost will increase until God has taught his lesson. Even the United States, as strong as it is, will eventually fail if we continue to crush free will.